Hello, hello. How you doing, my friends? Day 197. Beautiful Wednesday afternoon. Going for a little walk. Doing a little, that's right, grounding, earthing. Connecting with Mother Nature. And uh, I just want to come in today and just uh, share a little bit about what I got from watching the documentary, The Story of Plastic. <clears throat> As you can probably guess, the subject is about plastics. <laughs> and so uh, obviously with every documentary, there's a, um, you know, there's a point they're trying to make, educate us on different things that we might not have been aware of or thought of. <clears throat> and uh, I'll just share a few things that I, I took away from it. And the thing is, uh, there's always more than one perspective, right? In everything that we do. And so when it comes to plastic, uh, it talked about the manufacturers, the processors, people who create it, and then the end consumer. And so the biggest problem really when it comes to plastics is the single use plastics, right? It's the containers or it's the, the things that we use, that we use once and we just throw away. And plastic basically stays on earth forever <laughs> for the most part. And so uh, there's a huge environmental uh, impact when it comes to using these single use plastics um, but on the flip side plastic is actually uh, it helps gives us a lot of convenient uh, things in the marketplace that actually helps uh, make our lives more comfortable so there's always good and bad um, however the documentary is really on just educating us on the impact on the environment itself because at the end of the day if we have a ton of plastic in the ocean in our landfills in our world then what type of world are we leaving for our kids or the next generations, okay? And uh, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's quite scary. Some of the places that are recycling these plastics uh, or where the incinerators are. And uh, if you have a chance, I would definitely recommend you watch it. Uh, again, it's just about educating yourself and just understanding how things work and the impact it actually really has. Because at the end of the day, our choices will create the world that we live in. And so uh, it's interesting because, you know, when, uh, just in case you didn't know, plastics come from uh, oil, <laughs> crude oil at the beginning, right? This got to be refined and uh, changed and uh, molded and shaped into things that we use on a daily basis. And the producers, they are actually, um, they're putting it on the end user, us, the consumer um, to be able to dispose of it and uh, there's been a shift in the last probably two decades or so where uh, people are starting to hold uh, <clears throat> starting to hold the companies that produce all these plastics more accountable in terms of figuring out ways to recycle their own plastics that they're creating and be more responsible uh, with the when it comes to in terms of the impact on the environment. And uh, by doing by doing that, um, in the last probably decade, uh, many countries have started to ban single-use plastics, which is a great uh, it's good progress. It, it's starting right. And but here's the thing: um, because of the pressure that's put on by governments and, uh, and the people, um, these companies, these big companies like Unilever, Procter & Gamble, all these, uh, Nestle, right? All these big companies that produce lots of single use plastics for like water bottles or chip bags or what have you. Um, they've kind of created this conglomerate or this association, I forget what it's called, but it's to help um, get rid of the plastic waste that they're producing. And so, which is great, they've committed to $1.5 billion to actually develop systems on doing that. Uh, which sounds great. However, they are creating $200 billion in terms of plastics uh, while they're doing that. And so in the, in the documentary, it showed a bathtub basically it's like scooping a little bit of water with a teaspoon from a bathtub while the tap is full on. And so that's really what they're doing. Um, it sounds great, but really 
they gotta do a lot more and you know um there's a lot of details to the whole story but i just wanted to share a few things that i got from it some main points and really just encourage you when possible try to find ways to not use plastic right like hello plastic bags at the shopping mart uh, uh shopping centers right just going grocery shopping like so many people they use tons of plastic bags when all it takes is you know just a little bit of effort oh i'm gonna put a cloth bag in my car every time i go shopping or if you walk then maybe a backpack right with a couple of cloth bags they're reusable great for the environment and all you do is just throw them in the, the in the washer in the laundry and then it gets cleaned but it takes a little bit of effort right but again if we all do a little bit then uh, our world will be a better place and of course the reverse also is true if we all do a little bit of not thinking and using one bag each here one bag each there then we're only going to be contributing to all the excess waste that we're putting into landfills into especially in the oceans oh my gosh what is it i think it said that the 83 percent of the uh of the fish that the fishermen are bringing up has pellets of plastic in all of them and so and in the nets the saying uh, this is in asia uh what is it um six percent sixty percent fish and forty percent plastic is what they're getting in their nets that's just ridiculous that's mind-boggling oh my gosh and obviously that's not good for our environment and so you know my hope is that you think more about your choices and forget sometimes it's okay right just try again next time that's all it is right the more we are more conscious and the more we are intentional with our choices, uh, the better the world that we can actually create and develop together. Okay? So just remember, every, th every choice that you make makes a difference. It does make an impact. I think sometimes we're so... What's the word? Uh, separated? I don't know. So... There's a word. Uh, detached <laughs> from the actual situation or the outcome that we don't think our choices make a difference and so i would encourage you to just again just think about your choices if we all do a little bit we'll be the world would be a better place anyways i want to uh just come out here and uh and share this beautiful sun with you all i had uh, thought about doing this tonight uh, because there's actually a panel discussion at seven o'clock on the the story of plastic documentary and so i'll be very interested in in hearing what the the panelists say and um you know what solutions that they may be uh, sharing but uh, it was such a beautiful day i just thought i'd come on and share the beautiful sun with you guys anyways hope you're doing amazing i'll see you guys soon ciao